Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject for today is Science 6 and I am Sir Mar. Hey kids, have you ever tried rubbing your hands against each other? Okay, let us try for several seconds. What did you feel? Yes, it became warm. It's because if you rub your hands together for several seconds, you'll notice that your hands feel warm. When one objects come in contact and move against each other, they produce friction. Today, children, we are going to study how friction and gravity affect the movements of different objects. Okay, so before we proceed, let me remind you that at the end of the lesson, you are able to explain how friction and gravity affect movements of an object, identify different activities move with friction and gravity, illustrate how friction and gravity work. What is friction? Friction is a force that occurs when one object rub against another object. Let us see some of the factors that determine the amount of friction. The two factors that determine the amount of friction, number one, we have the kind of surface. Number two, we have the pores that pressing the surfaces together. Now, let us see some of the examples of friction. Rubbing both hands together to create heat. A sled sliding across snow or ice. A person is sliding down the slide. As you see these examples, these are how friction occurs in different objects. Now, children, let us proceed on how friction affects the motion of an object. Friction affects the motion of an object. Friction may slow the car down as it moves along the road but it is also the force that enables the car to move forward at all. It is the friction force that keeps the tires from sliding on the road. By the same token, it is friction that makes the car come to a stop when the brakes are applied. So, always remember that the slowing force of friction always acts in the direction opposite to the force causing the motion. Friction affects the motion of an object. Friction acts in a direction opposite to the motion of the body. For example, when a box is slid over another box due to the molecular interaction by which the surfaces of the two boxes and the pits and bumps on them, friction is produced which tends to oppose the motion. Surfaces that are touching the two boxes can slow down or stop the motion. Friction is produced which tends to oppose the motion. A while ago, we said that the amount of friction can be determined by two factors, which is the kind of surface and the forces that pressing the surfaces together. Let us see some of the examples of them. These are the examples on how friction is being produced. Always remember that friction is a force that occurs when two surfaces slide past one another. The force of friction opposes the motion of an object, causing moving objects to lose energy and slow down. The greater the force pushing the two surfaces together, the stronger is the friction that prevents the surfaces from moving. Okay children, so you know already what is friction. Let us proceed with the gravity. Gravity is a force that always attracts or pulls objects toward each other without direct contact or impact. Gravitational attraction depends on the mass of the two objects and the distance they are apart. So, let us see some examples of this. This is an example on how gravitational attraction depends on the mass and 
its distance. Number one, this is the force of gravity acts between all objects. Number two, if mass increases, the force of gravity increases. While if distance increases, the force of gravity decreases. The two factor affects the gravitational attraction between objects is mass and its distance. Gravity can change its upward motion, slow down and fall back toward the Earth's surface. Let us see the illustration below. Gravity can also cause an object that is thrown into the air to change its upward motion, slow down and fall back towards the Earth's surface. When air resistance is ignored, all objects will speed up at the same rate as they fall. Now, does gravity has direction? Let us see now if gravity has direction. Direction of gravity. Earth's gravity acts downward to the center of the earth. It is the force that makes an apple fall down to the ground. And also, gravity is the force that keeps the moon orbiting around the earth. Okay, I think you already know what is gravity and on how it affects the motion of an object. It seems that you already know what is friction and gravity. Let us summarize what you have learned today. Friction is a force that occurs when one object rubs against another object. Two factors determine the amount of friction is the kind of surface and the force pressing the surfaces together. Gravity is a force that always attracts or pulls objects toward each other without direct contact or impact. The two factor that affects the gravitational attraction between objects is mass and distance. Earth's gravity acts downward to the center of the Earth. Gravity can also cause an object that is thrown into the air to change its upward motion, slow down, and fall back to the Earth's surface. And that's the end of our discussion for today. Thank you for watching. I am Sir Mar and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to also click the bell button to keep you updated to our next lesson.